This is Gaming with the Master bringing you part 35 of Fossil Fighters. Let's get to it. In last episode, we went to Parchment Desert, the dig site right up there. In this episode, we'll be going to Cold Feet Glacier. A summary of this dig site is a frigid, ice-encrusted glacier where a mysterious, fluffy white creature has been spotted. A snowman, a bonum, ab Abominable snowman, maybe? Either way, let's go to Cold Feet Glacier. So we'll take the boat to Cold Feet Glacier. And here we are at Cold Feet Glacier. So let's start digging for fossils. Clearly we are going to get a lot of new water type fossil rocks while we are here at Cold Feet Glacier. Primarily because there are just, it's a glacier, there's going to be a lot of water types. And here a strange, strange creature appeared. And it just ran away. And then here, uh, normally this person would normally say there's a weird creature roaming around, but since we actually saw the creature already, she says, what? You saw the creature? Oh, I'm so jealous. But wait, it ran away right after that? Hmm, I wonder how you're supposed to get enough time to really observe it. If only there was someone who knew, someone who knew Vivisaur Island like the back of his hand. And that person happens to be Mr. Richmond. So once we leave this dig site, we'll be going to see Mr. Richmond. And also normally that person named Margaret, what she would normally say first is also that you can't, she can't seem to find any fossil rocks here at Cold Feet Glacier. But clearly we can. So then how does she find those? How can we find fossil rocks but she can't? And there she also states that uh, if she had fossil chip 2, she might be able to find some fossil rocks. So to dig at this dig site, you must have Fossil Chip 2. And we did get Fossil Chip 2 quite a while ago, uh, back when we were in Bottom Sump Bay, actually. So, And uh, as you can see, we just got our second Jewel Rock. We're just going to pass up on that. We don't really need Jewel Rocks. We're really good on money now, so we don't really need that. And got a new neutral type fossil, a new water type. Another new water type. A jewel rock, so we're going to pass on that. So we're just going to keep digging at this dig site. Found another new water type fossil. Another jewel rock. We can disregard the jewel rock so we're not going to battle them. Another new water type. Another new water type. A new air type. And I believe that rounds out all the fossils at Cold Feet Glacier. So we're going to head on back to the fossil center for some cleaning. Then if we are done with fossils here, which it actually looks like I did miss one. We missed a water type fossil. So we're going to run our way to the fossil center.
and then talk to clean so we can start cleaning. And then clean by hand. Then we're going to go over to where the new fossil rocks are. So starting here. And I will see you guys after this. So we have finished cleaning. So let's go over the vivasaurs we have found parts for. The first one is Tarbo. We clean Tarbo's head and Tarbo's legs. And that is what Tarbo looks like. The next vivasaur we cleaned parts for was Cryo. We clean Cryo's head and Cryo's legs. And then this is also what Cryo looks like. The next Vivasaur that we revived is Sucho. We cleaned Sucho's head, and then I've had Sucho's arms since Rivet Ravine. Sucho is a Vivasaur you can technically revive while you are in Rivet Ravine, but its parts are really rare. Uh, the common dig site to find Sucho is, however, Cold Feet Glacier. The next Vivasaur we revived is, where, oh, uh, Bronoth. We revived Bronoth with just its head fossil. And then this is what Bronoth also looks like. Other Vivasaurs we got parts for but didn't revive. Mammoth, we got Mammoth Arms. We got Giera. We got Giera's arms. And then we also got a Pado. And if you remember back to the point when Bulwart had Frigisaurus, the chieftain said Frigi was revived from a Potosaurus head fossil. So this is actually the Vivasaur Frigi is based off of. So we got uh, Pado's arms. And then we also have Anklo. We got Anklo's body, arms, and legs, but no head fossil, so we were not able to revive Anklo. Then we also have Spino. And for Spino, we have both arms and legs. And with that, that is all Vivasaurs we got parts for from Cold Feet Glacier. But now let's go talk to Mr. Richmond about Oonga Oonga happens to be the creature that we are looking for. So let's go talk to Mr. Richmond in the Richmond building. And then here, Mr. Richmond talks about, are you trying to work towards getting 100, uh, 100 vivisaurs? Uh, it's no easy task, is it? That's probably why nobody's done it yet. By the way, Fossil, have you he ever heard of a creature called Oonga Oonga? Supposedly, Oonga Oonga lives on Cold Feet Glacier, but no one has ever actually seen it. W what did you say? You've seen it? There's just no end to your talents, is there? But it ran away, huh? Hmm. You know, the legend of Oonga Oonga mentions that it loves snowberries. Anyway, if you see Oonga Oonga again, I'd love to hear all about it. Take care, Fossil. So we're now going to pick up some snowberries. To get some snowberries, we're going to go to the Fossil Guild. So go into the Fossil Guild. And buy today's special. And then today's special is snowberries, rare and delicious, suitable for the most discriminating palate. That'll run you 10,000 G, a bargain, what do you say? And then we clearly have enough to buy it, 
so we'll buy the snowberries. Thanks for your business. So now I'm going to head to Cold Feet Glacier and we're going to look for Oonga Oonga again. Then Cold Feet Glacier. And we're not, once again, we're not really looking for money, so we're just going to pass up on jewel rocks, and we're just going to keep digging until we find Oonga Oonga. We're also going to talk to Margaret again about uh, what we learned about Oonga Oonga. What? The creature is called Oonga Oonga? And it likes snowberries? That's great information. Thanks so much, hon. Then again, we're going to pass up on dual rocks. No, thanks. I don't want to battle. And we got a new fossil rock. There's still a lot of new fossil rocks left here, considering we only got about half, maybe not even half of the fossil rocks the first time around. And we got spinal legs. Spinal arms. New fossil rock. A jewel rock. And we're going to pass up on that jewel rock. Again, we're going to be digging here to look for Oonga Oonga. Oonga Oonga will appear as a fossil. Uh, it's just random which fossil he appears as. So, we're, so eventually we will find him in the dig site. But it is not guaranteed that we're going to find him on any particular fossil. But we will find him before we leave the dig site. We got a dark fossil rock. Got a new water type. Got another dark fossil rock. We got anklo legs. A new water type. A dark fossil rock. A new water type. A jewel rock. We're going to pass on the jewel rock. And of course, this fossil is being difficult and it's. Oonga Oonga. So Oonga Oonga appeared. Oonga Oonga seems to have noticed the smell of snowberries. Give snowberries? Yes. Oonga Oonga left looking very happy. So now I'm just going to continue looking for fossils in this dig site. And once they're all gone, we're going to uh, head on out. Just we're going to talk to Margaret first because she might have something new to say now that we've seen Oonga Oonga again. And with that, it looks like I have actually gotten all of the fossils in Cold Feet Glacier again. So talk to Margaret. Oonga Oonga is such a great name. It's cute that it totally likes snowberries. I like them too. So now we're going to head over to Mr. Richmond again.
And then, hello, Fossil. Did you find Unga Unga? Really? What was Unga Unga like? Hmm. Short, stout, and furry, you say. I wonder how long it's been living out at cold, out on Cold Feet Glacier without anyone seeing it. In addition to world saving, you can add discovering a lost creature to your list of accomplishments. Now, when you gave it the snowberries, you say it left, but it left happy? So it's not interested in socializing. That's fine. Let's just let Unga Unga be. We won't try to capture it. But in commemoration of your discovery, we'll make Unga Unga masks. Naturally, you'll get the first one, Fossil. Stop by this mask salon later when you have a chance. Thank you for, fasc for the fascinating story. An Unga Unga mask was sent to the mask salon. So we're actually going to head to the mask salon and put on the Unga Unga mask. So that one is the Unga Unga mask. My my, you're you are looking good. Time to face the world. Good luck out there. And we're going to head back to Cold Feet Glacier to look for Unga Unga one last time before ending the video. So we just got cryo legs, a jewel rock, which we're going to pass on. Another jewel rock, which we are going to pass on. A new neutral type fossil, a dark fossil rock, and of course this fossil does not want to be dug up because it is Unga Unga. Unga Unga appeared. And then it's doing a little dance for us. You got a new fossil rock. So whenever you meet Unga Unga with the Unga Unga mask, he will give you a fossil rock. So if you want to get just one more fossil rock when digging at Cold Feet Glacier, wear the Unga Unga mask and you will get one from Unga Unga, who left looking very happy. So with that, we're going to end the video. So uh, stay tuned for episode 36.